I'm Tim and my houses and properties are full of junk. 52 years of junk. The outside of my properties are full of a collection of eclectic projects. They are projects that I envisioned, that I saw the end of, but they didn't come to fruition. And there are things like cars, motorhomes, electronic equipment to be repaired, bicycles to be repaired, air conditioners for I don't know what now, welding equipment, engines, Volkswagen engines, Volkswagens. I have a pickup truck. I have a cement pumper. You'll find lots of metal and you'll find two sheds that are full of things. It's all stuff. Stuff that had a value, may still have a value, but doesn't have a use in my life anymore. I have a history with local code enforcement. It started many years ago, like 30 years ago. Why do I think that that's possible? Because right here, less than a thousand feet away, they did that to a house. They tore it to the ground, put it in a dumpster and hauled it away. And all that's there now is weeds. I could be out on the street, but for the grace of God, there go I for the homeless person. I could be there with my wife. I am Vilamina and Tim is my husband. Tim and I have been married for 52 years, and we met a year before it, so that was our very short dating time. When Tim asked me to marry, he said, you can have everything you want in the world, but one thing, please don't change me. And, um, well, I tried to change him, but it didn't work out. <laughs> How I would explain Tim's hoarding is when you're so good at so much, you have to drop the ball someplace. We can't all be perfect, so if we're gonna do something wrong, in this case, it was Tim's hoarding. The home that Vilamina and I live in is pretty big. It's uh, about 2,400 square feet on the downstairs and another 1,700 square feet on the upstairs. And it is full of stuff. All that stuff, every bit of it is a project. Living in my house, it's chaotic. And then I freeze and uh, I'm not able to function very well. But that's been severe the last 15 years. In 2001, she uh, suffered catatonia. And it was a long uh, recuperation from that. Up until her illness, there wasn't any hoarding going on in the house because she wouldn't allow it. But when she got ill in 2001, then she pulled back. And, and then by about 2010, uh, she was so bad that uh, it didn't matter if I brought stuff in the house. Vilamina, I, I believe her demeanor is more of a defeated individual than the very vibrant woman that she had been. And I can't wait to see a smile come back and 
really know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. When I try to help my uncle get rid of the stuff that he's collected, either through reorganizing or throwing it away, it's contentious, so we're always fighting. In regard to throwing things away, we are always butting heads, so and he has a tendency to create actually any possibility for any little thing that may be thrown away, he will have a use for that in some future plan. So you're always kind of fighting this, <laughs> this logical, I, you know, I, in a way logical, but also very <laughs> logical thing. So it's a constant battle. I have to keep reminding myself that I want to get rid of everything. I mean, even though there's gonna be part of me that say, no, we gotta keep that, we gotta save that. Oh no, not that. But I really, I want to get rid of everything. Tim, you and I have something in common. We probably do, you look familiar. Well, well, there might be a couple reasons for that. But what I'm referring to is, you're a psychologist. It's true. Right, right. Yeah. This is a really unusual situation because Tim is also a therapist. Albeit he's retired, but it's always interesting when I'm working with somebody else in the mental health field because the thought is, he should know how to do this. Why is he in this situation? But I'm always having to remember that it's not about your profession or how smart you are because mental health issues can affect everyone across the board. Tim, you got a few big days ahead of you. Are you ready for this? Uh, never ready, but willing, more than willing. That's what we want to hear. You know, we always want to remind family members that it's not um, just about getting the house in order. It's about dealing with the psychological factors that are coming up. Yeah. So Corey, what's our plan? We have an auctioneer here. We're going to walk the property. With the auctioneer, you can point out the things that might have some value and he can tell us what he thinks. Sure. Would it be okay while we're doing that to get my team moving and start oh, yeah, cleaning absolutely. out some of this stuff? All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. All right. That would have some value. It's a condenser? It's a condenser and a compressor, right. hermetically sealed, never been opened. Right. Let me ask you a question. If you were to sell this today, would you sell this as brand new? Oh, uh, yeah, it is brand new. I'd tell somebody it's brand new and been sitting here for. But it's rusted. So? I you're think what you're we're trying, trying to make to... a point. Yeah. What's your point? That this is not brand new, it's damaged, it's rusted. And I think that this is sometimes where you get stuck with your stuff. There are some things that I'm sure you know about. This, you don't. OK, so Ryan, so what you've seen through here, there's not a lot of value. I mean, where do we go from here? Is there stuff that you're going to take? At this point, no, there's nothing that we're going to take. Tim has what we call an overvalued ideation of his stuff. He thinks that they're worth more than they are. The things that um, Ryan, the auctioneer, looked at that he didn't take, are you going to let Corey and his team take those? Some of them, but some of them not. Philomena, what are your thoughts about that? Yesterday and this morning, he says, I want it all to go. When he gets like this, you, I can't change him. Would you prefer that while all the manpower is here to lift these items and remove them from the property? Because the likelihood of someone purchasing those items is, is not real likely. It's not a good thing what you're doing to her to ask her how she feels. It's not a good thing what you're doing to her. She's fragile, and I want you to respect that fragility. Tim, I am. It's no, we're, we're not. checking in with her. That's okay. all we're doing. Well, if strong person this goes. I am surprised at Tim's willingness 
so far. I mean, the, the amount that we are removing from the back is a lot. I just hope that that momentum will continue. Yesterday, we had a conversation. Tim, you got upset. How are you doing today? It's all good. OK. I mean, from my point of view, we, we've made fantastic progress yeah. here already. I'm looking forward to what's going to happen across the street. And um, I can't be anything but grateful. We got rid of about 10 tons of stuff yesterday. Wow. I mean, imagine that, 10 tons on the first day. It really is unheard of. So the plan for today, Tim, is we're going to go across the street, where Nathan's staying at that property, and we're going to start cleaning out that yard. OK, I'm going to have some of my guys stay here, because we're getting an empty dumpster delivered right now, and the rest will be over there with us as you make decisions. Does that part sound good? Sounds good. Let's get over there and get started, OK? Let's go. All right. All right. about this trash can? Go. Let's see. Probably should keep the mop. Uh, this? We'll keep, yeah, keep that and keep this. This looks pretty gross. This lawnmower stays, but all of these mowers and pump, well, maybe I should keep the pump. This goes with the something we're saving. How much would you get for it? Probably $7.50. I would love to see one of these online in this condition, rusted and everything for 750. Oh, no, you won't see it for that 750. It's got to be painted. It's got to be, you know, dressed this up. This is where your hang-up is, man. You don't understand my way of working. This is your way of working. I mean, your mind is your worst enemy, my friend. We're going around the pool, you know, one more time, making a second pass, but he's still holding on to way too much stuff. It doesn't even look like we did anything back here. I saw a... Um, what do you call it? A two by four, a 10 foot two by four. And it was going into the dumpster. And I'm wondering, do I need to be over here, you guys? Steve, I mean, what is so amazing when you look around here, look at how much stuff is here and tens of thousands of pounds, tons, have gone. And look at it still. Tim, why don't you come over and have a conversation with us, OK? So I just, my concern, Tim, is when code enforcement comes back tomorrow, this isn't going to be acceptable, obviously. We had a lot of issues with Tim getting him on the same page as us. You know, he wanted to keep so much more than he promised us in the beginning. It seems like every day it's just getting worse and worse and worse. When I see a brand new piece of two by four, 10 foot long, come over to come into this dumpster, I ask you to save usable materials. You see, I'm that, I it? looked at that piece of wood. It's harder than the nail itself, and it's warped. It's, now, what yeah, are you going to use it for? It's a perfectly good piece of wood, and you and when you're using a nail gun, it doesn't matter that it's hot. I don't want to argue about well, that then small don't, I need don't, to get this job then don't done argue. for you. Then don't argue. But you that means you or... want me to save the end off of that pallet. Don't be ridiculous, bro. No, you're being ridiculous. You don't understand that I know what helps me. Wouldn't you think I would know what helps me? This pile, these two yards, oh, bro, come don't on. help you. Come on, bro. They don't help Vilamina. No, nah, bro, they don't, don't go there. You family? know that that's off. That's off. No. Yes. Yeah. How many different times have we hey. come here and helped clean up? Uh, and it's twice. turned back the same way. Twice, and I let it happen, and I regretted it afterwards. But you know, it is what it is. Well, you're so, probably going to regret this. One second. Look in this room and give me a percentage of what you think is going to go. Give me a percentage. I'm working on it. I think we're probably going to end up keeping 50%. God almighty. And what are you going to do with 50% of this stuff? It's not going to make any change in this house. Yeah, it's going to be out of the house. Where? In your yard? 
for now, for until I get a no, different place no, for it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have code enforcement come tomorrow and have it worse than it was when they left a couple <laughs> days ago. What's the point? Tim, you got to save yourself, man. I can't do it. Have you take advantage of the couple days that we have left while we're here to make the most progress? Well, and if I we empty out the progress. house, that'll be the most progress. It's, it's, it's the wrong kind of progress. In your mind. We're fueling, not in my we're mind. fueling the disorder that no, we No, that's baloney. Unfortunately, it's not. Any attempt to help him understand that this is a mental health condition, that the way he's been doing things hasn't worked, and that we have an opportunity to help him, to grow, to better understand why he's in this situation, he continues to just push back. He's not interested in changing. He's interested in holding on to his stuff. It's not like this is our first hoarding case. We know if we move a million things out here, they're going to stay here. One person is not going to go through all this and make sense of it. They can't. I'm not going to be forced into doing something that I know in my heart is not right. So call me a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. So Corey, we didn't come here just to relocate stuff. So where are we oh, at? Goodbye. Absolutely not. We, we're, we changed the plan a few times to meet your goals. Well, wait, you didn't have that plan with me. Plan no, was the plan when started I, when I originally years. met you, what was the plan? The I want to let it all go. Both yards, both okay. houses, empty and everything. I, do. I don't know what to say. Well, you but can say goodbye. But we're not going to move all this out, you and we're not going to fill this up. Then so code say enforcement goodbye. comes back. Say goodbye, and mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Are you having regrets about some of the things that you let go of? I'm having regrets about the whole process. Do you want to expand on that at all? Uh, not really. Do you regret the work that we did do and got, I think the total number of dumpsters will be eight when that's all said and done. Taking eight dumpsters away, is that a positive? Did you hear what I said? I regret the process. OK. I regret the way you manipulate things. Explain how we manipulated you, because I'd love because, to hear that. Well, you've done it over and over again. You should know how you do it. You put stuff that goes in some barrels. You put stuff that stays, and then you say, rationalize for us why you keep this stuff. That's, That's not manipulation. manipulation. Well, sure That's it is. questioning your way of thinking that has gotten you to this position. Well, and you, you can say that. There's no manipulation when I question why it's here and why you need it to sure, live a better, healthier life. manipulation when you lay that out like that and say, OK, instead of listening when I say what I want to do with I it. just want you to know that's our job here. Okay, We're not well, just thank you for doing your job. I want you to know you're doing a great job. By the way, I don't like the confrontation either. Well, I feel like just withdrawing and just let it take its course. Whatever happens, happens. What I don't want to do is, if you're going to be disengaged today, is continue doing anything. Because we're here to help you not just clean up, but learn and grow and change from this experience. And that's not going to happen if you're hiding in the house or disengaged even outside. Tim, your voice is important. And at this point, we don't want to further perpetuate a negative experience. And we've, we've talked already about how difficult it is to clean up this property in such a short amount of time. So we want to defer to you. Are, are you up for this, this last day? Yeah. I'm really glad to hear that. Let's get started. All right, you guys, we made it to the end. As difficult as this process was, we were able to remove right around 40 tons of stuff from both properties. So that's huge. It really is. So Officer O'Connor's here from Code Enforcement. She's already taken a look around. So what do you think? Honestly, just on first like <laughs> glance, it looks so much better. Just on first glance, it looks leaps and bounds better than before. So you're happy with this property, but there's one across the street we still got to look at, right? Let's take okay. a look. A little different? A little bit. <laughs> and this is after we took out a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a different look than the other property, so. 
So as far as the crisis of code enforcement being on him at this property, we're far from that being fixed. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you guys. We appreciate Ditto. having you out here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. What a difference, Beautiful. Huh? Looks good. Thank you, Very, too. You're very welcome. nice. <laughs> when I walked into the kitchen and got a chance to look around and see the living room all cleaned up, it was awesome. Tim, I want to personally thank you because you were on the brink of kicking us out twice. <laughs> so True. You, you hung in there. And it paid off. I hope you feel it paid off. While I'm disappointed in some ways, I am extremely grateful for what you have done. So there have been challenges all along in this process for me. But the biggest challenge for me was to realize that it wasn't just about me and what I wanted, but, uh, but about the process and letting it do its, its work. The, the journey with, with us is not going to end because we are going to offer you one of the organizers that was here to come back and continue to help you. And we're also going to offer you aftercare therapy. And we wanted to find out if you want to take advantage of these additional services that we want to give you. I have somebody already lined up. Oh, yeah? Um, well, yeah. we should meet with them, don't you think, hon? Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm OK, yeah, we'll meet with them. What a blessing. Didn't turn out as well as I wanted, but it's still a blessing. Massive blessing. And I appreciate it so much. Brings a tear to my eye because I feel so blessed. Best of luck to you guys. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.